Good morning and welcome to Virtual Scripture First. My name is Valerie and today is Sunday, May 16th. Go ahead and grab your packet out of the bag and let's begin. To start this morning, I want you to share your highs and lows from this week with your family. And then follow along in your Bible or on this sheet as the lesson is read. I have shown you to the disciples you gave me out of the world. They were yours. You gave them to me, and they have obeyed your word. Now they know that everything you have given me comes from you. I gave them the words you gave me, and they accepted them. They knew for certain that I came to you. They believed that you sent me. I prayed for them. I am not praying for the world. I am praying for those you have given me, because they are yours. All I have is yours, and all you have is mine. Glory has come to me because of my disciples. I will not remain in the world any longer, but they are still in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, keep them safe by the power of your name. It is the name you gave them. Keep them safe so they can be one, just as you and I are one. While I was with them, I guarded them. I kept them safe through the name you gave me. None of them have been lost, except the one who was headed for ruin. It happened so that scripture would come true. I am coming to you now, but I say these things while I am still in the world. I say them so that those you gave me can have the same joy that I have. I have given them your word. The world has hated them. That's because they are not part of the world any more than I am. I do not pray that you will take them out of the world. I pray that you will keep them safe from the evil one. They do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to it. Use the truth to make them holy. Your word is truth. You sent me into the world. In the same way, I have sent them into the world. I make myself holy for them, so that they too can be made holy by the truth. Greetings, friends of Virtual Scripture First. This is Pastor Lars coming to you for the last Scripture First lesson for this school year. We've had a long year of Virtual Scripture First and in-person Scripture First and being with our families and learning together. It's been a great year. And this is the seventh Sunday of Easter, and we're in John chapter 17 today, where Jesus is praying for his disciples And he's praying, this is very strange, Jesus is praying to God the Father for you. And he says a few things in there, but mostly what he's saying when he's praying to God is that God would keep you connected to Jesus Christ. He says, I have claimed them, I have made them my own, I have taken what you've given me, and I'm asking now you, God the Father, to keep them connected to me by my word. You know, when we pray for one another, we often often think of the people that we love uh, and the things that we need in life. And those are wonderful things to pray for, praying for health and for food and for goodness and for uh, all the things that, uh, that you will pray for each and every day. And to pray for your family and your friends, those are all important things. But Jesus reminds us that there's something else to pray for, and that's that uh, all people... Uh, that everyone who knows Jesus would be kept in his word, that is connected to Jesus by hearing and believing what he has said to us. And he has said these kinds of things to us. He says, God is your father. That's his promise to you. He said, uh, your sin is forgiven. Keep us connected to that. Uh, He's saying things like, um, you belong to me now. Because remember a couple of weeks ago, he said, I am the vine, you are the branches. Uh, And as we are connected to him, he chooses us and claims us. And to be kept in that word is what Jesus is praying for. So think of all the ways that you are connected to that word. Well, you've got your family who's learning together with you. You've got your church who cares and loves you and keeps giving this word to you. Uh, You've got uh, uh, this whole lesson saying, no, every time we come together as church, we are connected to Jesus and his word. 
So whenever we come together around the word of God that says you are a child of God, that we together are connected to Jesus Christ. Every time we believe his word, we see Jesus Father, God the Father, keeping the prayer that Jesus gave. For Jesus asks it, Jesus says it happens, and the Father gives it to us. So uh, just think of all the times that you pray for one another and remember to pray as Jesus taught us, both the Lord's Prayer, but also that we would be connected always to Jesus by his word. All right. God bless you. Enjoy the lesson and the activities that Valerie has for you. We'll see you again very soon. God bless. For our craft this morning, we are going to make a prayer wheel. So go ahead and grab this sheet out of your packet and you'll also need a scissors, some crayons, something to write with like a pen or pencil, and the tack that came with it. So this is what it's gonna look like when it's all done. You're going to cut out the outside wheel and you're gonna cut out this front wheel and put them together with the tack. But before you put them together, you can color it and then write on the back one. So you're gonna write names of people that you want to pray for because today we are learning about prayer. And then um, each night you can put this somewhere like maybe by your bed or at your table and each morning or night you can turn the wheel and then say a prayer for that person whose name is on there. Next we are gonna do our memory verse. So get the orange sheet of paper out and we're gonna do John 17 9. So cut around that verse and then read it to a family member and then have them read it back to you so you can hear it and try to recite it without looking at it. Then you can find a place in the house to put it that you can look at it throughout the week. Next, we are going to do our prayer together. So you can join me with the actions and with the little sheet that's in your packet. God in heaven, hear my prayer. Keep me in thy loving care. Be my guide in all that I do and bless all those who love me too. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. As we leave with a blessing, uh, turn to each other, make the sign of the cross on your forehead and say, you are a child of God. This is our last virtual scripture first for the year. I look forward to seeing you guys all in person next fall. Have a great week. Bye.